Hey guys, Tyler Linham here today with Wood Cycle Country. Today we're gonna go over a 2023 Ranger XP1000 Texas Edition, as well as a 2023 Defender Max Lone Star Edition. Now both of these machines are special editions made by Polaris and Can-Am. They're gonna have a lot of features that are really similar, and I get asked every day by customers, which way would you go? So both of these machines are great machines. Both have their place. Um, if you're looking for more of a weekend warrior type, using it in your neighborhood a lot, and occasionally going out to the ranch, Can-Am Defender is probably the route to go. Uh, main reason being the four-wheel drive system. Polaris has a patented four-wheel drive system. It's more focused towards the farm and ranch. It's gonna have true four-wheel drive whenever you put it into four-wheel drive, as well as turf mode and two-wheel drive. The Can-Am, if you look over here on the dash, you're gonna see that it has two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and a rear diff option. But the Can-Am's diff is a little different than Polaris's. Can-Am's diff is a Viscolock system, so you're, whenever you put it in four-wheel drive, you'll have three-wheel drive until you build a little pressure in the front diff, then your fourth tire up here in the front is gonna lock in, then you'll have four-wheel drive. Big negatives behind that maybe is that if you're in some loose sand or mud, sometimes it's a little too late to get locked in once you're already going. Maybe with Polaris, you lock it in, you're good to go, and you go right on through that mud and sand, no issues. A couple other features that are easy to see when you look at them. Both are gonna come with a grill guard. Both have a 4,500 pound winch. Polaris is gonna have a synthetic rope. Can-Am has a steel cable. There's pluses and minuses on both sides. Everybody can argue either way on those two. Both are also gonna come with a poly roof. They're both crew cab six seaters. Whenever we get down to suspension, they're both gonna have arched A arms. Polaris is gonna have 14 inches of ground clearance, boasting a 29 inch tire on a 14 inch wheel, eight fly. Can-Am's gonna have 13 inches of ground clearance with a 30 inch tire, 14 inch wheel, as well on eight ply. Now, if we go into the cab, both are gonna have nice seats. The Can-Am's gonna have the two tone. Polaris is gonna be all black, but with plenty of padding. Both are gonna be really comfortable. If you're looking at Can-Am, you've got the storage up here in the dash. You've got storage underneath your front seat. And then you can add two additional of these boxes if you want to for more storage later on. Another plus side of Can-Am is that the back seat, all the seats will fold up. If you have dogs or you have storage, you need to haul back here, you can fold these up out of your way. And you can also include the front storage from the front and add two more in the back if you need the storage underneath the seats. Can-Am's also gonna have storage up here above the steering wheel. It's got an outlet up here for two USB ports. They've also got a 12 volt plug in the dash and extra spots for cutouts for switches in the dash on each side of your steering wheel. Another plus side of the Can-Am is gonna be integrated rocker panels come factory. Polaris won't have this option, but it's a good option that comes on the Can-Am. We're looking at the Polaris. The Polaris comes with a little storage underneath the driver's seat already, as well as a tiny bit of storage in the middle front. And then if you lift up the back seat, you can get to the fuel pump and battery, as well as the relays and a little bit more storage under that back seat. Uh, Polaris also has recesses underneath the passenger side front and rear seats that will hold a five gallon bucket in place if you wanted to add one of those in for extra storage. Texas Edition is gonna have a 12 volt plug in the dash as well as a USB port. It's also gonna have a built-in trickle charger plug, male to female, so that you don't have to run alligator clips down to your battery to charge your battery anymore. It'll also come with an extra 12 volt plug back here in the back seat, an option that Can-Am doesn't have. Polaris also has a ton of storage on its dash. It's got two functioning glove boxes, as well as open panels down here to store stuff. Four cup holders in the dash, two down low in the front, and two more in the back. Uh, Can-Am is gonna have, you know, your two cup holders up front and none in the back that you can physically see until you fold down your front or rear center consoles and that adds two more cup holders up front and two more in the back, as well as armrests for the front and back. Plus side is armrests that don't come with the Ranger, but you lose your six seats and go down to four if you end up using those. If we, if we get down to engine on each of these models, they're both gonna be 1,000 cc. Can-Am's is gonna be a V-twin, 82 horsepower, 69 foot-pounds of torque. Polaris is gonna have a parallel twin, 82 horsepower, 62 foot-pounds of torque. That V-twin really helps out with the bottom end torque. So that's where you get more torque on Can-Am. Headlights on each. Can-Am comes with a dual beam, halogen headlight and an LED signature light, while Polaris comes with a dual beam LED headlight and it's also gonna have signature lights built into the headlights. 
So Polaris is gonna be a little brighter on headlights from factory. Um, halogen bulbs, of course, we all know, not quite as high output, but you can always upgrade to LEDs later on. Polaris Texas Edition is gonna have 1,000 pound storage in the back, 1,600 pound payload, and 2,500 pound receiver hitch weight. Volcanium is gonna have 1,000 pounds of bed weight, 1,700 pound payload, and also 2,500 pound on hitch weight. Polaris does not have a rated tailgate as far as weight goes, but they do have a really durable tailgate. Can-Am has a 250 pound rated tailgate, so it does have a rated tailgate. Both the Can-Am and the Polaris are gonna have tie down points in all four corners of the bed, and both are also gonna have recesses for five gallon buckets in the bed as well. So guys, one more point I wanna go over real fast. The cab space on the Can-Am is a little bit more roomy, so if you're short like me, the Polaris is probably fine for you, not a big deal. But for you taller guys, Can-Am may be easier for you to stretch your legs a little bit. All right, guys, that about covers it. Uh, today we discussed the 2023 Texas Edition Ranger and the 2023 Lone Star Edition Defender. If you have any more questions, feel free to call up. My number is 210-965-0005. I'm here at Wood Cycle Country in New Braunfels, Texas. I'll be happy to help you. Thanks, guys.